of protocol and etiquette. Hi, well, hi Cindy. Thank Great you. to see you. Yes. So 11 you. times we've won this and now the voting has just begun February 1st. But how did this whole contest come about? Right. The contest has been in existence for about 30 years, actually about 31 years now. And it was started by a woman named Marjorie Young Stewart. And uh, she was an etiquette expert, a wonderful woman. Charleston had a love affair with Miss Stewart for a long time because we were always kind of out of the 30 times, 30 years, we were always in the top 10. And then the last 11, we actually won Most Mannerly City. Mm. In 2007, kind of Ms. Stewart passed away, and um, her family, Mr. Stewart and his family, bestowed the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award to Charleston in 2007. So we were excited about that. So we want to continue that tradition right. of what she has right. done right. with the voting, correct? Right. And we just finished the 2008 uh, no Most Mannerly City campaign. We just finished. We just uh, put the in information up on the website February 7th on who won. And so, and how this is happening is that people vote from all over the country. You vote online mm -hmm. or you can mail in your vote. You don't have to do it online. And um, Charleston won again. Well, yay! In 2000, yep, 2000, and any city can run for this. Any, any city. city. And any people, city. how many votes were you seeing and where were you seeing the votes come They're from? They're from everywhere. We had, it actually doubled in size from last year. It was close to, I want to say close to 2,000, like 1,800 and something votes. And um, then we had some duplicates. So the rules say it's one vote per person. So by the time we threw that out, it was somewhere around almost 1,700. And 25% of the vote came to Charleston, largest margin by far. What were some of the others? And so, and then, but the one that we're going to share it with, we have a new category this year. Oh. Because we've won it so many times and we had the Lifetime Achievement Award, we did some new rules where Charleston can, you can vote for Charleston and it can win, but it actually wins the Preservation Award. It's a mm. new award. Mm. Because we wanted to bring some new cities in, kind of from the most mannerly to the most mannerly. And facilitate people being more mannerly in other cities. Right, right. right. So this year, we're very pleased as a welcome newcomer to have Savannah. Yay. Savannah uh, came in second with the uh, second highest number. They had 5% of the vote. And so we are really happy to share the title this year with Savannah. First time ever that we've actually been able to share it. So That's very nice. Really exciting. Well, so now the new campaign for this 2009 right. year is right. here. It started February 1st. So people can vote, go online, mail in your vote, and then we will complete it December 31st. And then we will tally the votes and do it again. And also, if you uh, go to vote, you can also register. I give away a trip to Charleston. Hey, so it's, yeah, oh, so we do right. plain fair. We do the Renaissance Hotel is one of our sponsors. They give away three nights. Maverick Kitchens is one of our sponsors. They give away a dinner. And um, CVB uh, does passes, tour passes. Which is the so, Charleston Visitors Bureau. Yes, the, mm -hmm. yes, right. They give away VIP passes. So it's kind of a fun package. You can vote and then also have a chance to win. And we have a winner. I, I will wait to we get paperwork that we have to send them and when we get right. the paperwork back it allows us to put their name on our site. Ah, so. well, congratulations to the winner. Now, Neville, you know, you're from Missouri. Yes. How, how are you seeing manners here uh, now that you've I, moved here? I would definitely say very mannerly. Uh, a lot of times when you're out, people will offer you, you know, if you want lemonade or sweet right. tea, I definitely uh, never got that back in Missouri. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you can go online to yourmannersmatter.com until right. December 31st. Right. And Cindy, any good things coming up with etiquette? <laughs> yes, we have a lot of good things coming up with etiquette. We have a lot of uh, great new programs and just exciting things. So as we move through, I'm afraid to announce anything because That's okay. so many good things. But as they come, you know, we'll be I back. To, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we'll have some tips. If you ever have questions, of course, for Cindy, right. you can always Please. go to her website or go to our website, Low Country Live, abcnews4.com, mm -hmm. and go to Low Country Live. Live page or our Facebook page, Low Country Live, there as well. Right. Well, good to see you, right. Ms. Thanks Cindy. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You. So, vote. You could win a trip, even though it's your own town. Hey, you could let your, let your in laws right. come here and stay there instead of your house. <laughs> what do you think of that? Right? Win win. Win, win win. win win. Exactly. All right. Well, from great manners to serving up the perfect plate of food. Eat great, lose weight. We'll tell you how after break.